In the metal squadron today, selling continues in the July copper futures contract, down over 1% on the lows today. Four spot, 5265 was that low. On the high side, we were up 1.05%, so down a percent, up a percent, a little bit more on each way. Point, I'm sorry, 4.625 was the high today. We ended up down toward the lows at the end of the day, down about 81 uh, basis points or so in toward the close. Now, copper is down two consecutive sessions and six of the last nine. That makes it down 2.27% so far this week after being down 1.96% last week, so some pretty aggressive selling. Some of that has to do with the perceived or potential Chinese intervention into commodity markets in general. According to CCTV, which is of course the national uh, news system that's controlled by the Chinese government, China is going to step in to stabilize commodity markets. Now, the main one would surely be copper, as China is one of the biggest users of copper, potentially crude oil as well. Not sure how they would achieve this by controlling supply on their end, maybe by stockpiling and distributing it. No one really knows, but that is what CCTV is saying the official government stance is to try and control commodity prices. This caused some selling. When you look at a chart, again, not official volumes, but the last two days that we had selling were much higher volumes than the previous two days where the market was back up toward those recent highs. Also, the dollar is falling and the dollar had a pretty bad day. And that might be part of the reason that copper wasn't much lower today, only down that 81 basis points. Could have really accelerated down if copper was higher, but of course, cheaper dollar makes copper cheaper to the world market and is supposed to bring up demand. We're not sure if it will, depending on how China reacts to all of this. But for right now, it looks like the bear market in copper, I'm sorry, the bull market in copper has taken a little pause.